Hey Joe's Pepper House members. Today I'm going to show everyone on how to build a five gallon DWC tote using half inch tubing, an air stone, a three inch hole saw, a three inch net pot, an elbow, a rubber grommet, a 13 16 or 21 millimeter hole saw, a quarter inch drill bit, a sharpie, a pair of scissors, and a utility knife. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and begin by using the sharpie. And all you wanna do, just find the center square in this lid. Uh, like I said, the, the links will be in the description of where you can purchase everything I did. I got this from Lowe's, it's one of our big, big box stores out here. And uh, just find the middle square and just roughly find, just put a dot roughly in the center there. Like so. You're going to take your hole saw. It's a three inch hole saw. I bought these from Harbor Freight. I could try to find the link for them, but they come in a kit. Uh, they're very cheap. I think I paid like 10 bucks and I got like seven or eight different size bits, but this is a three inch. You just want to place the drill bit right in the center. I go forward. I haven't had a problem yet. Some people say that it tears these up. I haven't had a problem. So just start slow. And there you go. Now what you want to do from this point is take your lid off. As you can see, you got your three inch net pot. You go to put it in there, it doesn't seat flush yet. That's because we got to take the burrs off of it. And that's where this utility knife comes into play. Make sure you have a fresh razor, a, a brand new razor blade. And all you want to do is just come in and just start trimming away. Go all the way around. All right, as you can see now with that little bit of trimming, she now sits flush. Okay, now that we got that step done, we're going to go ahead and take our elbow and our 13 sixteenths bit here. We'll undo this one. This one's no longer needed. They make other bits like this, wholesale bits you could buy. They'll work just fine. I found this one, as you'll see in the link below. And what you wanna do is go on the opposite end of your label that's here. So if you want to call this the back side, we'll go to the back side. This, you don't have to be perfect. You can if you want. You want to just stay above this line right here where your water goes. So about right there. So all I'm going to do is approximately find center. I'll get you guys a close up here. Just approximate center. So about like right there. Go ahead and drill that. Now we're done with that part. Just run your fingers through there and clean that hole out the best you can. Now you're going to take your rubber grommet. You see those grooves in there what you want to do is kind of circle it around inside there just like that make sure it's seated properly look at it on the inside make sure that you rotate it make sure she's even just like that 
Now what you want to do is take your 90 degree elbow and just go ahead and push it through that hole. And there you go. Just like that. Now what you want to do is take your rubber hose, which I'll link in the description. Uh, you don't have to use the one linked below. I'm sure you can find the cheaper. I just found this in bulk. Most of you guys saw my 2020 video or 2020 grow. You'll notice that I bought, I think it was 50 foot of this and I did like 20 12 gallon totes. So what you're gonna do is you take your tubing, pretty straightforward. If you look under here, you're gonna see this little lip, right? There, right above this hose, you're gonna see a little lip underneath here. So what you wanna do is take your hose and you see the natural curve there? You're gonna take it and push it up in the center here, push it up about as far as it'll go, not all the way, but like push it up all the way till it stops, back it down to here. Then you're gonna come over here. You see where these ridges are? You just kind of want to come to the bottom where this starts to 90 right there. I'll show you. Take your scissors, kind of put it right towards the bottom, and just cut it, just like that. Now what you want to do is just take your hose here, give it a smash down, and there you have it. There's that part. Now when you want to do water changes, if you have this thing elevated, all you got to do, turn it this way and the water will pour out of this hose. This is also used as a sight glass and I'll explain to you how that works as well here in a minute. But here she is. The next step you want to do is you're going to come on the opposite side and you're going to take your quarter inch drill bit. Go ahead and install that. Now, depending on where your tote's gonna lay out, like I'll show you in my tents behind me, where you're gonna drill your hole for the top for your air line to go to your air stone. This is pretty simple. Wherever your inlet's coming in, you might wanna come in on this angle. Or wherever your totes are steady, you might wanna come in, maybe you come through the center here. But for demonstration purposes, I will show you, I think I have one already drilled. I don't want to drill this one yet because I'm not 100% where I'm going to lay it. So set this one here. In this case, I will be using this bottom. And all you do is just come, let me show you. Take your drill bit and you're going to want to drill up a little bit higher, about right there if you can see that. Just drill your hole. <clears throat> then you're going to take your tubing, wherever you have your tubing run from. I'll put the link in the description where I got this. Then you just poke it through like that. You grab your air stone. You attach this. And you go ahead and set it inside. Now this one here, I'll show you here in a second. <clears throat> the other one had a, was a lot of uh, shavings in here because I've done about 15 of these so far. And uh, this is the one we just did on the video. Here's your air stone, depending on what side that you're gonna, your airline is going to come through because this here will only fit an angle. This is this is one foot long. This is a little bit overkill for this size. I was using these in my 12 gallon totes, but these are like 25 bucks a piece. And uh, I wasn't planning on buying the smaller stones, which I'll also link those below. And uh, so these will only fit in here in an angle like this or like this. So the pendant I would come in on either side, obviously, like you saw on the other one. And you run your hose in there, set it down in there, and there you go. Now, for an option, 
I'll show you here in a bit. Once you get your toad assembled, you can go ahead, remove this lid, and get you some uh, heavy duty aluminum foil. I have one 100% completed, it's optional, you don't have to do this. I do it because I like the fact that with those bright lights, they can seep through this uh, material here, which could create algae and stuff that you don't want. So I use a sheet of heavy duty aluminum foil over the top, you just want to cut it, you know, even if you have to do two sheets, that's fine. And you just kind of smash it down and then fold it over, and then when you put it on here, make sure it fits good. Press it down and I'll show you. But there you go, it's simple as that. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this thing in action. Stay tuned. Oh, I would also like to mention that when, with the air stone that I'm using that you'll see with the link in the description, I could you would fill this up with three gallons of water and that'll put you right into this net cup through the first part of the basket lines here it'll bring it right up to about that level because I'll use the median here the clay pellets and uh, but I'll set my uh, rock wool down in here and then I'll and I'll show you guys that in another video and then I add the clay pellets around it and that way it helps to keep it moist and uh, keeps everything nice so let's go ahead and show you what I got going on inside here show you one that's complete and running all right now here this is filled with three gallons of water i'm sure if you guys can see that i'll go ahead and open it up for you and this one here has the aluminum foil this is one sheet of the heavy duty aluminum foil and there it is in action then once you fill it up with the three gallons of water all you need to do is come over here and mark a line this is an old line don't go by this line but right here when you see your watermark let's try to shake it so you can see it well you can see right at this level is a three gallons that way once this starts to evaporate down say about a half a gallon or so I'll go ahead and fill it back up there's multiple ways that you could do this as you can see here there's two 12 gallon totes from my last year build and my plan is to I have a some plywood that I'm going to cut down and I'm going to have it go over the top of these two bottom 12 gallon totes and that will help support these better uh, so far they're they're hanging on there pretty good I, I may not even have to do that but there you go I'll have four plants in here maybe next season or maybe even this season I could do like a two inch nut pot here one here or maybe four one here there and there and keep this one or whatever and in time like a block holes you know for you guys get the point but anyway these tents here the same size tent i got the same thing in here and in here i have three of the same in there all powered by 102 watt air pump that i got on amazon i'll link that below too all right everyone hope you enjoyed today's video on how to build a five gallon dwc hydroponic tote very simple, easy to do. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment below any questions you may have, and uh, ring that notification bell to get updates on this 2021 grow. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and hit that notification, notification, really?